Tough game at Air Force, just like we've had uh, over the last 10, 12, 15 years with, uh, with the cadets. Uh, closely contested contest. Um, a lot of positive things defensively came out of that game. I think we played, well, I know we played the option better than I can ever remember playing it, uh, holding the, the Falcons to 50-some-odd yards of rushing offense, which, which is uh, really a, a, a tribute to our defense, defensive coaches, defensive players. And the uh, you know just the work work that they put in during the week in preparation for that game, um, made some uh, did some good things on offense. Uh, had some turnovers in the first half. We got to you know continue to we got we've got things we've got to continue to work on. We still have uh, many deficiencies uh, that need to be addressed. But um, overall, I thought the offense did some good things. Generated 440 yards of total low. Uh, made 24 first downs. Uh, and maybe the most uh, critical thing in this particular game is we controlled the clock for 36 plus minutes, uh, which is very difficult to do against the Air Force. Usually on their other side of that, usually they're controlling the ball for, for 35, 36 minutes, and you're you're on the short end. So, so a lot of positive things came out of the uh, out of the uh, game offensively. The run game, particularly in the second half, uh, both our backs uh, over 100 yards. That was that was key to success as well. Um, I thought Brian threw the ball. Uh, for the most part, very well. They did have one interception. That was a great play by Air Force in the end zone there. Uh, you know, that's, that, that type of stuff is going to happen on occasion. But uh, bottom line is, we got to do a better job offensively taking care of the football. Three turnovers in the first half led to uh, 10 of their points, I believe. And uh, you know, you look at the stats, and uh, you know, it was really uh, very skewed towards us. And uh, you know, the thing that kept the game close were those turnovers in the first half. Uh, special teams wise, uh, we, I thought we had a solid effort. Louis Sakota missed a couple field goals. They were difficult kicks. Uh, one was 47 yards into a wind. Uh, one was 55 with a stiff wind at his back. They both had plenty of length, but uh, pushed one to the right and uh, hooked one to the left. So uh, two, two uh, kicks that uh, Louis will probably make those most of the time, but uh, in those particular situations, he did not. Uh, punt return game, we caught the ball. Terrell Cole did a nice job fielding punts. Uh, that was a uh, a non-factor, which is what it should be uh, most weeks, and um, you know we're, we're two and zero in uh, conference play now, uh, four and zero, which you know we kind of break our season into thirds. First third of the season is over. Uh, we, we're in good shape. We got the middle third coming up, then we bye week, and then the, then the final third. So it's kind of a natural break right now. Uh, it was a physical game. We won't practice today. We will condition and lift and meet. That's not untypical of us. We, we do take a few Mondays throughout the course of a season and uh, follow that same format. So it's not uh, anything to do with uh, any particular reason other than it's a good time to get a, a little bit of freshness back in the players by taking a little bit of a break on Monday and uh, you know just go back to work tomorrow. So that's where we're at. And uh, any questions? Yeah, I think with everything, the evolution, the, the path that things are taking, uh, you know, the day of the 255-pound middle linebacker, uh, that's over. I mean, we're playing with 220, 225-pound guys, as is, as are most other people. And, uh, you know, it is a game of speed, and, and the more the game spreads out, the more uh, it'll continue in that direction. And so that was, that was uh, you know, when I first uh, took over in, in 05, that was our primary objective, is just to, to make a, a faster football team, you know, year by year. It wasn't happen overnight, but I think we've been able to work towards that end. We still got, you know, areas we can get uh, improvement and become faster, but that definitely is part of it is because of the, the type of offenses we're seeing. Well, it's not tough, but uh, I got a great deal of admiration and respect for Coach Mack. I mean, the bottom line is he really resurrected the Utah football program. That's, you know, he took it from obscurity and put it uh, back on the map. And, uh, you know, he, he gave me my first Division One job. You know, I was a 1AA coach before coming here to, to uh, Utah. And so uh, i am uh, got a great deal of uh, – I'm indebted to Coach Mack for giving me the opportunity and uh, still consider him a close friend. I think he's a great guy. You know, he's, he's just a genuine, personable uh, guy. And, and uh, I've, I learned a lot from him while I was here, particularly in the recruiting area. You know, he was a masterful recruiter. Well, you know, you're only as good as your last performance. Our last performance on defense was pretty darn good. Uh, we've got to go out and do it again this week, so you can't ever rest on your laurels. But, but the way they were able to, first of all, control the run game uh, was, you know, I think somebody told me 1980 is the last time Air Force had been held to that few of rushing yards, which, which is, what's that, 28 years? I mean, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty uh, impressive accomplishment. 
um, you know, we're holding people. We're, we're getting a bunch of three and outs, you know, three plays and punt. We have uh, nine, nine first downs is what Air Force was able to generate. I think we're in the top three or four in the nation in first downs allowed, which is, you know, that's key on defense to get out of drives. Uh, we did give up some things in the throw game. Uh, you know, a couple times we were there to make a play. We didn't make it. They did. Uh, they threw, what, 13 times. I think they were 7 of 13 for 125 or something like that. So so they were a little more productive than we would have liked in the throw game, them being Air Force. But uh, when you, if you can take away the run game against Air Force, you can live with a few miscues in the throw game because you're, you're sitting there packed in, playing for the run each and every snap. They're going to get a few things on you. As long as you can keep the damage to a minimum, you usually turn out okay. Yeah, so far, you know, it's uh, it's been a great start for, for the, the three of us. And, uh, you know, we all play each other down the road. So, you know, people are going to start beating up on each other. But but uh, as of right now, uh, you know, the conference, I don't believe, has there ever been three ranked teams. I couldn't tell you for certain. I don't believe there has been. So it's a good uh, good thing for the conference. Uh, you know, TCU's got a tester this week. They got a, they've got Oklahoma. And so that'll be, a, you know, a big test for them. But, uh, you know, as we sit here right now, uh, you know, it's it's uh, the conference is in a great situation as far as, uh, national exposure and, and recognition. Very good. Consider Coach Mack a friend. Like I said earlier, he's uh, he's a guy that uh, I don't visit with him. You know, I visit with Urban. In fact, I just got off the phone with Urban a little bit ago. Uh, with Coach Mack, it's maybe once every couple months. Just touch base and see how things are going. And uh, you know, very like I said, I'm very uh, grateful for the opportunity he gave me. Learned a lot coaching underneath him. And uh, you know, at least from my perspective, there's absolutely nothing but but positive feelings between us. Well, we won't lose many games, but we can get that done each and every week. You know, that's something that uh, was a big positive for us. Um, and, you know, football, I've said this a hundred times, it never changes. you got to be able to run the ball on offense and defend the run on defense. And, uh, you know, if you go into an Air Force game and are able to outrush them and out, uh, you know, possession them with the clock, then your chances of winning are pretty good. And so that was a, a big positive for us. And, you know, we'd love to get that each and every week. Whether that happens or not, I mean, that's what remains to be seen. Yeah, we coach it all the time, every day. There's never, you know, that is never not emphasized. Whether the turnovers are going well or, or uh, against us, you know, that is a point of emphasis uh, from spring ball all the way through, uh, you know, possessing the football. It's number two. We got a plan to win up there. Take care of the football is is right behind. Play great defense, and and uh, that's something that we emphasize uh, daily. Um, you know, we did come away with two takeaways. We were minus one on the day, which is. You know, it's not horrible, but it's not where we want to be. And so we just got to keep preaching it and keep working on it. And, uh, you know, we'll get it fixed.